Now we have reached Germany at last. Eh? <laughs> Please. There's a question from Germany from a lady about a verse in the Holy Quran, Surah Al Baqarah. Um, verse, uh, a lady from Germany? Mm -hmm. Right. Please. Verse 229. حکیم <laughs> The translation is, and the divorced women shall wait concerning themselves for three courses, and it is not lawful for them that they conceal what Allah has created in their wombs, if they believe in Allah and the last day. The courses which do not appear yes. in the case of a hamila, yes. so that for the period of three courses. For the period of three courses, yes. And for the, the time <coughs> which it takes for three courses to appear. That's the meaning. Yes. If they believe in Allah and the last day, and their husbands have the greater right to take them back during that period, provided they desire reconciliation. And they, the women, have rights similar to those of men over them in equity. But men have a degree of advantage above them. And Allah is mighty and wise. Correct. She's asking, um, what does it mean by, and they have rights similar to those over them in equity? This is what I have been explaining before in many of my question answer sessions. It's very important that wherever you read rights of men to be different from those of women, they are always in relation to their different constitutions. The, you know, the constitutions are built differently and as such they require different treatment by law because women bear children and men do not. So that is the reason there are differences between injunctions of the Quran when the, different, when the injunctions address men and when they address women. There are differences only because of this. Otherwise, the right of women is exactly the same as the right of men. In all other things, they must be treated equally in their fundamental rights. This is the meaning. Correct? That is, the equality is in their being nafs, or nufus, all of them. And this equality is mentioned in another verse of the Qur'an, which says, لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا غُصَاهَا لَهَا مَا كَسَبَتْ وَعَلَيْهَا مَا تَسَبَتْ This is the overwhelming law of equality. And in this word nafs, women are as much included as men are. So, laha maka sabat wa alaha maka sabat is the overbearing rule by which every nafs will be judged. And in this rule there is no inequality at all. In the German translation, they translate it um, a bit different than equity. They say they have rights after tradition and is there anything like this mentioned in the Arabic as well? That Traditions? they only have rights after the traditions? No, no, no. no. Yes. Okay. See? This uh, translation has to be corrected. Okay. I have come across many translations, many paired passages which I believe are not correctly mm. translated and that gives an opportunity to the non-Muslims mm. to object. While of course in the case of other translations into German, it happens much more often that a mistranslation gives the occasion for objection to others. 
in our translation it is very little, very few instances, but still they are, and they have to be removed. This is why I instructed the Jamaat Germany that in new translation they should consult also my Urdu version, which will inshallah clarify all these things. Right? يقول حضرت المؤمنين. now with that I take your permission to get ready for the next class. okay and all class. next round. next round.